Hey everybody, this is my um, 1982 CJ7, it's a Jeep uh, limited edition. Um, I bought this, found this, had it shipped down to me. Everything's actually original on this thing. Original springs, original shocks, I'm slowly redoing everything. Trying to restore it the best I can. Some things I want to change, but I'm trying to keep a lot of it as, as original as possible. And you know, Jeep delivery has the hard doors, mirrors. I have a soft top on it now. I also have the hard top, but I like the soft top look. And I actually wanted to put soft top doors on here. And normally you have the mirror coming off of here, off this hinge, off the windshield. But this is not drilled and tap. You got quarter twenty, four quarter twenty holes here drilled and tap. Where you mount your mirror onto. So I was looking at a lot of different options. I didn't want to drill and tap this. I thought about taking this hinge off. I actually bought another hinge, used hinge, painted it. It's already pre-drilled and tapped. But I just don't quite the look of like the look of black and black. I try to match up this um, slate blue, but I can't match it up unless I get like a professional paint sprayer and all that, which I'm going to do eventually, but not right now. So I saw a couple of options, and one is this which I bought online from Rampage Products. It's quick release mirrors. Uh, they stay fixed, fits all 1976 through current CJ models, YJ, TJs and all that. Now, with the, I think that TJ, YJs and TJ models, the bracket mounts on the side here, which I wanted. I wanted to mount the black bracket here, mirror coming off of here. Whenever I wanted to switch back to the hard doors, I could just take the two bolts off. And, you know, I didn't want to change anything up. I just want something I can put in and put out easily. Well, this is the bracket. They say it mounts to a CJ model. The holes don't line up, of course. These hole patterns are too short. This one's about... And you can see the top of that bolt. And also, I got a little lip here on my windshield, so you can't go... It needs to go at least another eighth inch this way. So, in order to do that, I'm going to have to cut an eighth inch off this bracket here and also score it so it can go underneath that lip on this metal part here. So it doesn't fit there. None of these holes line up. The closest holes that do line up are these, but they're still like an eighth inch off, plus this bracket hits the top of here. So, I don't know why they say. It fits the CJ model. I can do like a one bolt here. Nothing holding on here. But I don't want that. I want to get two bolts in. So the only option I'm going to have to do, I like to have it here, is I'm going to have to score this an eighth inch off. And cut it down here so I can get that lip through there. And these hole patterns, I'm going to have to um, aug them out, bring them down closer because that may not even work with the bolts because, like I say, it's just too tight. But I think I might be able to get away with it. It's just, you know, it shouldn't say it fits a CJ if it doesn't fit a, fit a CJ at all. So, yeah, I think the only way I can make this work is shave off an eighth inch here so you can get farther in so your holes line up. Then I'm also going to have to cut right here so that I can slide past that lip on my windshield right here. And then I'm going to have to auger these holes closer so I can get a bolts, two bolts in there. I really didn't want to do that because, you know, this is nice with a powder coated paint. Whatever I'm going to do is I'm going to create heat. It's going to buckle up the paint. I'm going to have to repaint it a little bit. I'm having a hard time matching this paint. I use flat black, semi-gloss, glossy. And it doesn't quite you know, match the way I like it. But that's what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to mod this out. It's a shame that, you know, the advertised stuff says it fits. It doesn't fit at all. All I had to do is supply a different bracket. But they didn't. Well, I thought it was going to be an easy, easy solution to my problem with, with wanting to put um, soft top doors on this Jeep. 
but it's not. I'm gonna make it work somehow. All right, let me start doing some cutting. All right, I was able to get it on. Like I see if you can tell, got to hog these bolt holes down a little bit, get the bolts closer together, top and bottom. Right here, I had to score that so I can get it past this lip on my windshield. And I also had to take a whole eighth inch on the other side, take a whole eighth inch off to get the holes lined up. But it's on there, it's on there tight. So if you want to use this product, you're going to have to modify it yourself. So you have to bring the whole, the whole diameter is shorter. Uh, almost like I'm a, I would say a quarter inch, maybe three sixteenths off. You have to score this so you can get a, at least mine. I have a lip here. I don't know if all Jeeps have a lip here. I have a lip here, so I had to score this right here to get it past that lip. And I had to take an eighth inch off here to get it centered up with those, to line up with those bolts. But it's on there nice and sturdy. So it's not the hardest thing to do if you have the tools to do it. It's just a little pain in the butt. And I wish when they advertise stuff says it's for a certain vehicle that is for that vehicle. But I see it comes with uh, circular mirrors, but um, I actually have some black square mirrors too. I'm gonna put them on. And then when I do, I'll get a nice, some regular soft top doors and give it more of a old classic look. Like I said, I just didn't want to drill and tap on this. And I wanted something that I can just pop this off and put the bolts back in and slam these doors back on if I want to keep it original as it is, the CJ Limited Edition. Well, let me put the mirror on and take a look, see how it looks. All right, there's the final product. So it comes with a uh, round mirrors, but I actually ended up putting on a. Uh, I have some old black ones. I like better. Keep with the black windshield, and black mirrors. I guess they don't stick. I can always move the bar forward or backwards to pull them in tighter if I want. But I like this look a little better. Is it closer to the more classic look of a Jeep? I say it gives me an option. If I want to take the hard top doors off, which I want to do, I want to get some soft top doors. So I like the soft top look a little better. And that's the final product. Overall, I'm somewhat happy with it. Just wish this thing would mount up properly. There's something, something else you got to do to take, get it to work properly. That's, uh, that's it. Let's see, these are what, uh, from Rampage. Uh, what does it say? Rampage, quick release mirrors, product number 7619. I know they also come in with uh, square mirrors, but like I said, I got the round ones because I knew I already had squares. If I want to switch it around, I can switch it around. If I want to go back to square, I got square. Overall, it's a decent product, I guess. Seems like it's well built. I like see you just got to modify it to fit a CJ. I got a CJ7, 1982, CJ7 limited edition. And this is why I went to this brand, because I didn't have the. My hinge is not drilled and tap. Alright, on for the driver's side, and I'll be done.